from the global resources of ABC News with Terry Moran, Martin Bashir, and Cynthia McBadden in New York City. This is Nightline, July 19, 2010. Good evening, I'm Terry Moran, and we begin with gold and the booming market for the precious metal in these hard economic times. They call it the flight to quality. Investors looking for safe bets, and one particular company, Goldline, based in California, is really flying high in the gold market right now with the enthusiastic endorsement of Fox Television host Glenn Beck and former presidential candidates Mike Huckabee and Fred Thompson. But this evening, the Los Angeles District Attorney has announced that he is opening an investigation into that company, which some investors allege have cost them thousands of hard-earned dollars. Chief Investigative Correspondent Brian Ross is here with the story. Brian? Terry, authorities in California said today they had opened an investigation into a hugely successful company called Goldline. Goldline sells hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold to American consumers every year using two former presidential candidates and several top personalities at Fox News in its sales pitches. Thank you for calling Goldline. When customers call Goldline, located in this office building in Santa Monica, California, they are assured they are in good hands. Um, now, just so you know, Glenn Beck is a client here. Uh, he's done with us for several years. We've been, you know, working with them. Uh, we've been a client of his on Fox News for about three years now. I like to call the 3G system here for this. It's uh, uh, God, Gold, and Guns. And Fox News talk show host Glenn Beck makes no secret of his calls to buy gold in troubled economic times and of his endorsement of Goldline. The people that I trust are the people at Goldline, and you can talk to the people on uh, on the phone. They're not going to pressure you. It's the right thing for you and your family. You want some insurance? Trust the people at Goldline. Not so fast, according to the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office and the Santa Monica City Attorney. Goldline and another Santa Monica-based company are now under investigation after more than 100 complaints from around the country. There are two main types of complaints we're seeing. One is that uh, customers say that they were lied to and misled uh, in entering into their um, purchases of gold coins. Uh, and the other group um, is saying that they received uh, something different than what they had ordered. One of the complaints comes from 63-year-old Joe Kiss Martin, who lives outside Detroit. Kiss Martin says what he heard from Glenn Beck and elsewhere on TV about gold and the gold line company made a lot of sense. Give us a call today. They get the commercials on TV and the way the economy was going, I was just figuring, well, maybe I'll just do it for a little bit and save it for inflation, you know, in case something happens to the economy when it bottoms out and I got some something to fall back on, gold, rather than have money, lose all my money. But Kiss Martin says he ended up losing almost half of the $5,000 he spent with Goldline because, as the Goldline salesman, pressured him to buy overpriced gold coins, not the gold bullion he had seen in the commercials. I wanted the gold bullion. I didn't want coins. And I told him, I don't want coins. That's when I first told the gentleman, I didn't want coins. And he goes, no, 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 that's a good deal. We've got the good deal. On I got some special coins here, Swiss coins. They kind of more or less talked me into buying the gold coins. Goldline says it marks up such coins by as much as 35%. And when Kiz Martin took his coins to a local coin shop a few months later, he was told his $5,000 worth of gold coins from Goldline were worth only about $2,900, a loss of some $2,100. Well, I'm on a fixed income. I only get paid once a month, and that's kind of it. Kind of hurt my pocket real bad. You're taking their word at that they're, they're going to give you the best deal possible, you know. But it seemed to me like he was just trying to make the best deal possible for him and not me. Zoanne Martz of Sacramento says the same thing happened to her with Goldline, that she was persuaded to buy $13,000 worth of overpriced Swiss gold coins, each one priced at $250. Goldline told us Martz should be ahead on her investment, but that's not what she says she found. I was recently laid off, so I was looking for getting back some of my money, and I found that the most I could get for one of these was about $207 now. And that's despite the fact the price of gold has almost doubled since she bought the coins three years ago. I just really felt like I kind of, I was suckered. I really was, and I really felt like this was a reputable company that I could feel pretty safe with. 
The push to get consumers to buy gold coins instead of pure gold bullion is at the heart of Goldline's alleged scheme, according to New York Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner, who plans to hold congressional hearings on the issue. Once they get people on the phone, they basically steer them into these so-called collectible coins. And that's where the ripoff becomes really profound. Some angry customers say Goldline invokes Glenn Beck as a way to steer them to their gold coins, citing his frequent warnings that only gold coins are safe from government seizure. You see, back in 1933, FDR said, okay, we're going to take all your gold and gee, it's worth $8 an ounce. But some people got smart and they said, well, wait a minute. I've got uh, antique coins. You can't melt these down. These are antique coins. That's what Zoanne Mart says she was told by Goldline. And that that would make your investment more secure because the government couldn't come in and take your gold, basically. And that's what a Goldline salesperson told a researcher for a liberal watchdog group, Media Matters, citing Glenn Beck. When it comes to holding physical gold, uh, there's a couple concerns our clients have. Um, are you concerned with what happened in 1933? Glenn Beck talks about this very often. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. So Glenn Beck just says, look, they've confiscated bullion before. I want to have what the exempted from confiscation because I don't want them messing with my gold. So they exempted any coins that had a recognized uh, special value to collectors. In fact, included in the Goldline sales brochure material is a replica of what it says is the 1933 edict from the federal government ordering the seizure of gold. It is absolutely not true that the government has any power to come confiscate your gold or confiscate your currency. Um, but that fear is profound. And very often the very same commentators that are stoking that fear are also selling these coins. And who are you talking about? Well, you know, a lot of attention has been paid to my conflict with Glenn Beck on this, and he's very big, a giant audience. But he's not alone. The Goldline website features a who's who of conservative commentators who endorse the company. Including former presidential candidate Fred Thompson. Watch us for gold is gold line. Former presidential candidate Mike Huckabee. The people at Goldline will explain just how easy it is for you to buy gold. And most prominently, Glenn Beck. Good enough for Glenn Beck. Good enough for you. 866 Gold Line. There is an unholy alliance, I call it, between the commentators on Fox News and Fox News' advertising policies to sell ads to these guys. Fox News says it has never received a single complaint about Goldline. And on his Fox program, Beck said Weiner was engaging in McCarthy-like tactics and said the investigation he conducted was a joke. The only way to deal with a joke of an investigation is to treat it like a joke of an investigation. Beck points to the company's A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. And in a statement to ABC News, Beck said he expects his audience to be well-treated by Goldline. If you're going to advocate for buying gold, it's certainly your right to do that. But you should tell your viewers there's a dumb way and a smart way to buy gold. And very often those advertisements are for a very dumb way to buy gold. No one from Goldline would agree to appear in our report. But in a letter to ABC News, the company said all risks are fully disclosed, there's a seven-day money-back guarantee, and that all complaints are investigated. And Goldline remains a prominent advertiser on Fox and other cable outlets, despite the ongoing investigations in Los Angeles and by Congress, which plans hearings on the subject in the next few weeks. Terry? So I guess I'm moral. Read the fine print always and talk to a financial advisor. Thanks, Brian, for that report.